I've been meaning to get this Q&A up for a while. I had lots of camera issues and I think I got them fixed. I don't really know what was wrong with the camera, but it just kind of magically started working again. So we'll see how that one went last. Um, I have a lot to do in the barn today and I honestly don't feel super good. So I wanted to do kind of an in-action Q&A because I really just don't feel like sitting in front of the camera right now. Um, so I'm going to go do my barn chores and take you guys along with me and answer some questions while I do stuff. Um, like I said, I got to do barn chores. I have to wrap Diesel's foot because he pulled a shoe. And then we might do a little bit of showmanship and just kind of go with from there. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're just going to roll with it. And here we go. So I'm going to try to answer these as quickly as possible because I do have a lot of questions to get through. Um, but there are a couple that I want to answer a little bit more in depth, like, you know, what my future looks like in horses. Um, oh, baby. And a couple other things like that. So I'll cover those more towards the end so we can kind of like roll through the quick ones at first. So keep watching until the end if you want to see those. Someone asked my opinion on, I don't know, like, the official title of it or whatever, um, but my uh, opinion on the positive reinforcement for, like, plus R or whatever it's called. Um, I know it's, like, the new Instagram fad. Personally, that's all I consider it is an Instagram fad. Not a fan. Um, I prefer to interact with my horses as athletes and performance animals. Whoa. Does that mean I'm mean to them or does that mean I, I don't ever reward them or whatever? No, not at all. They're incredibly talented animals. I treat them as such. Incredibly fragile animals. I treat them as such. Um, I just, I, that's not my style. I, I prefer to treat them as athletes and, you know, am I going to go out and like talk smack about it, whatever? No. You know, you do you, but not my cup of tea. <laughs> Someone asked how I keep my horses so shiny. I posted a winter grooming routine and that has a lot of my grooming tips in it. Otherwise, the horse guard trifecta has been amazing in my horse's coat health as well, as well as the Sport Horse Essentials coat spray, which is literally amazing and it's all natural. Super, super cool products. Um, I have codes, discount codes for both of those. I'll put those in my bio. I've been using them both for a very long time now and have been, have seen fantastic results. Um, the Horse Guard also has a Flix treat, which looks like this. They are 100% um, they are flax, and they also have a flaxseed supplement that is not like any other, which is great for coats, so definitely check those out. What are my horse's favorite treats? I just showed you guys the Flix. Those are Elliot's favorite treats. They are also super, super healthy for a horse with a lot of medical problems like him. Um, Diesel, for whatever reason, is addicted to cold carrots. I have a refrigerator in my tack room that I keep a, like, overstock of carrots in. They have to be cold, and he literally will, like, flip over backwards for a cold carrot. I don't know why. My opinion on specifically Western pleasure hate or all discipline hate or, you know, quarter horses or whatever. Um, being in the world of quarter, quarter horses, I do experience a lot of hate as far as how our horses move and whatever. Personally, I don't show a lot of Western pleasure and I know a lot of people who do get a lot more hate. Um, and at the end of the day, every discipline gets hate. Every discipline has bad people. Every discipline has good people. In my opinion, the way I look at it, if the person making the comment is not the judge in the middle of the ring, the trainer in the middle of the ring, or is not sitting on your horse, who cares? What is what they're saying? How is what they're saying going to affect you at the end of the day? Are they going to come up to you and take your ribbon and say, oh my God, you're the worst person ever? They're probably not even going to confront you face to face. It's ridiculous. Are they going to, you know, knock you points? Are they going to do something to you that affects your showing career? No. Let it go. All right, kind of a two for, two for one question here. I can't talk today. I don't know why. Um, do I think I'll ever get into barrel racing with Shane? For those who don't know, Shane is my boyfriend. Um, if he had a horse for me to run, I would totally see myself doing that. I think it's awesome. Um, but do I think I would give up my, what I do and go wholeheartedly into barrel racing? Probably not. Just because, I mean, I love what I do. Um, but like total respect for him, total respect for barrel races, barrel racers and everything like that. Uh, I also got asked if I wasn't doing what I was doing, what discipline would I do? Um, I really want to try reining one day for sure. I also got asked, do I think I'll do hunter jumpers? Um, I'm totally down to try it and I think I would love to do it one day. Um, Diesel will not be my hunter jumper horse because he's my hunt suit horse. That's what he was born and raised to do and that's what he's built to do and that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> Actually on that note, I do want to add in there, um, I'm going to be making a video that introduces everything about hunt seat and everything you need to know about hunt seat because I get a lot of questions about it and you know the hunt seat world is really easily confused with like hunter on the flat and all that stuff and I can't go on saying like you know 
it's not hunters please stop telling me i need to jump blah 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 and not explain to you guys what it is because not everyone knows what it is and that's totally fair so keep an eye out for that video how is barney he is fantastic and yes he does still scream at me on the right um have you fallen off of me yet no i have not he's actually a pretty safe horse um he's just very very mean and that's not until i get to him oh baby how do you pick out a good horse and where's good places to look i found um elliot and foxy both through facebook um, which are fantastic places to look. You can find a lot of horses through things like mutual friends and all that. Um, Diesel I found through my trainer's barn, and, but he also had an ad on Facebook. So like, you know, that's how it is. This chain's too short for your fat head, but it's okay. We'll figure something out. Um, but also I highly recommend taking a professional with you when you go horse shopping. Um, you know, things like you know, you could walk up and totally fall in love with a horse and it be on three legs. It's just, you need to take a professional with you um, if you can. And, you know, of course, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, aka don't find a really good deal and pretend like there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and there's nothing wrong with horses that have minor flaws. You know, every horse has a flaw. Nothing, no horse is perfect. Um, but, you know, be reasonable with what you can work with and what is a good fit for you. Um, also, get horses that are good with your skill level. Like, don't go out and get a Congress champion when you just started out riding. Because Congress champions, everyone's like, you know, oh, they're push button horses. They're really difficult to ride. These high level trained horses are very, very difficult to ride. So, you know, be honest with your skill level, take a professional, look at confirmation, behavior, um, all those kind of issues and maintenance and be, real be realistic with what you can afford. My opinion on roach mains, I've seen a couple horses that it works really, really well on. Me personally, um, I like manes on my show horses because I think bands and braids um, look really professional, but that's just me. Um, like if I see a horse with a roach mane, I'm not going to take offense to it. Like it doesn't bother me that much, but that's just my personal preference. If you go to any, own any breed of horse in the world, what would it be? Definitely a quarter horse. They are incredibly versatile and good-hearted animals and just really, really good horses. I'm so out of breath. What's your favorite AQHA show to go to? And if you could go to every, any AQHA show anywhere, which it would be? My favorites to show would definitely be um, Martin Ganza. Oh, I'm so warm. Um, uh, uh, uh. Novice Championships or Congress. And if I could go to any show, it would be Congress and the World Show for sure. All right, I got a lot of questions regarding school. So um, people want to know if I stay at home or if I live in the dorms. I do stay at home because of these guys. Um, I don't want to leave that load on my parents. Um, but it, it's really not that bad of a drive. It's 30 minute drive, it's not that bad. Um, I am in the agribusiness management program and I actually really like it. I transferred out of Hush the communication program into that and I'm a lot happier. Um, Morgan asked how much I love her and I love you a lot and I can't wait to see you hopefully at Congress. Someone asked how many tattoos I have and what are they? I have three tattoos. Um, two of them are actually the exact same thing. I got this one on my rib, which I don't want to show you guys because it's kind of in an awkward spot. Um, but it, it matches the one on my arm and they're just arrows and the arrow is a really important symbol to me because it simplifies, simplifies, I'm sick, sorry, simplifies um, sometimes you have to pull back in order to shoot forward and I've had a lot of setbacks in my life so that's kind of a really important mindset for me to have. Um, the one on my ankle actually is a dragon that started out as a joke. Um, whenever we decided to retire Elliot up at Congress, I told my trainer, I was like, you know what? This is finally an excuse for me to get my first tattoo. And anybody that follows me knows that I call Elliot my little red dragon because he's, <sighs> how do I put this, psychotic? Um, and he's red. So I got a dragon tattoo in his honor and I told my trainer and she was like, I thought you were joking. And I was like, I thought I was too, but then I got it. What supplements do you have Diesel on? I'll make a whole nutrition video, but he is on Cool Gut by Dak for his ulcers, or ulcer prevention. Um, Daily Gold by Renman Equine, which is a uh, stress reliever. And advice for maintaining rain rot, um, curry a lot, so get it up off the skin. And then, 
this stuff has been my saving grace for rain rot. I, I use it if I ever have like anything I need the hair to regrow, like when these blankets are rubbing in really bad, I sprayed it on there. It helps the hair regrow, but it's technically a fungus blend, so it's like made for a rain rot. Um, it's a Sport Horse Essentials fungus, fungus blend. I can't get over my own tongue today. Um, it is amazing. So what I do is I curry, 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 get all of the nasty crust up off the rain rot spot and then spray this on while the, the skin is fresh and it soaks right in and starts clearing it up within days. It's amazing. As far as the ulcer supplement goes, someone asked me how I do ulcer maintenance at home versus shows. He gets the DAC Cool Gut on a daily basis and then he gets um, Ulcer Guard the day before show and then while we're at the show and then the day after the show. My favorite part about showing is definitely, hey, putting everything you worked on to the test. It's really not, I mean, people always assume it's about the ribbons, blah, 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 but like earning the ribbons is the cool part. Like going, and one of my other favorite things is just seeing my friends and my, I consider everybody my family at the horse shows and cheering everybody else on and seeing the progress that everyone's making, but also seeing your own progress because, you know, it's not just getting the ribbons. It's not everyone's like, oh, you're going crazy over that 50 cent ribbon. It's the process that gets to the ribbon. So, you know, what I'll do is I'll compare my videos from this show to the last show and see how we progress. It's a really, really cool feeling. Will you ever do horsemanship with Diesel? I plan to. I actually talked with my trainer about this today. I really, really want to. It's, or yesterday, whatever it was. I really, really want to. It's just a matter of I don't really have the extra money to go out and buy all the clothes because, like an idiot, I sold all my horsemanship clothes when I bought a 17-3 hunt seater. But I really, really want to do it someday, and maybe someone will let me borrow their horsemanship saddle, and I'll find some chaps, and we'll do it. Um, how do you keep a show coat on your horse? Diesel is under lights. He goes out during the day when he's not missing a shoe, and um, it's in the stall at night under lights until 10 p.m., and then they turn back on at 6 a.m., um, and then he is very, very, very religiously blanketed, so I change his blankets based on a degree of weather. It's crazy. But obviously he has literally no winter coat, so it's worth it. Someone asked me about what's wrong with Elliot and everything and saying I never explained it. Um, there's a huge explanation video on my YouTube. You're so dramatic. Um, and there's a couple, there's a couple other videos where I mentioned it, but there is a big explanation video on YouTube. But basically he has PSSM, Lyme disease, spinal compression, something else wrong with his back. And I feel like I'm missing something. There was something else that I can't remember. Major behavior issues. But no, the, um, he can still be ridden every once in a while. And basically, he just tells me when he wants to and when he doesn't. And we just kind of take things day by day. But he is seven this year and fully retired from the show pen. Where do you get your show clothes from? If I don't, like my breeches and stuff, I tend, my show breeches and stuff that I need, like pristine and clean, I tend to buy new um, just from Dover or whatever. But like all your. My showmanship outfit I had custom made, which was a big thing. It was like my family and everything for my Christmas gift. Um, but you can find some really cool deals on Facebook. Um, someone asked me if I regret buying Elliot. No, I do not. Um, he taught me a lot. I always consider him my heart's horse, hence the tattoo on my ankle. Um, he's an amazing horse, a dangerous horse, and I love it. And he's my boy. And I don't regret buying him for a day. Yes, it's heartbreaking to retire a horse. At, he was five years old when I retired him. Um, but, you know, I, I, he taught me so, so much that I can apply to other horses and all that. How do you schedule your classes in college to still be able to show? I end up do missing a couple classes on Fridays and stuff, but I, um, you know, plan ahead, tell the teacher, get all the work done. So I get all the work done, I just miss the in-class time, but then I connect with the teacher on the other end. Um, and most of my class, or most of my shows are like Friday through Sunday, so it doesn't put that much of an issue. And I only have like 15 weeks per semester, per semester, and I only show maybe, maybe twice a month. Um, normally, if it's two times a month, it's a weekend show, so I don't have to show on Friday, and it's fine. Um, favorite turnout blankets that hold up the best? Definitely Rambo would be my favorite. They've held up amazingly. I know they're super expensive. Diesel came with his, so he's outgrown them. Do I plan on buying him more? No, because they're really expensive, but they're awesome. Um, my showmanship halter is a Kathy's brand. I love it. Um, it's kept in storage. I've had it for two or three years now, and it's hold, held up amazingly. Um, my goal for showing this year, I'm just cranking these questions out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, my goal for showing this year, I'd love to do the Congress. I'd love to do the Novice Champs. Me and my trainer are still trying to figure out Okay, a schedule. Um, I know we're definitely doing the Martin Ganza, which I'm really excited for. Um, but, yeah, my goal is to get really good in the equitation, maybe add the horsemanship. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Um, 
Have you ever competed in Western Pleasure? At the open level, yes. At the AQHA level, no. How long did it teach? How long did it learn? Blah, blah, blah. How long did it take you to learn how to braid? And how did you learn? I actually learned via YouTube. Um, it took me a couple months practicing on my own horse. You can only cut your horse's mane so much. Um, and I offered it, you know, for free or at a low price to my friends at shows, at little open shows, and then continue to get better at the premiere. The trick is learning all different sorts of mains. That's the hard part. How far do Shane and I live from each other? We are an hour and four minutes apart, actually. Um, we met up at Congress, and it just kind of coincidentally happened that we are as close as we are. How do I make my horse lose weight the right way? Lots and lots of long trotting in hills is what helped Foxy. He's a fat boy. Um, what do you use to bathe? I'll be doing a bathing routine when it warms up, but I've been really... Um, I've been using a lot of medicated shampoos for all the dry skin issues in the winter and stuff like that. Someone also asked if Shane did Congress before we met. Yes, he went up for barrels and poles. I think he did poles. I know he did barrels. Um, and the NIAT stuff. I have never shown the Georgia AQHA thing. Two questions I don't want to cover. Someone asked how I got started in hunt seat. It was actually by complete accident. Um, I wanted to do hunter jumpers and I found Foxy on Facebook and fell in love with him and realized that he did the all around so I forced myself to learn all about the all around and I'm absolutely happy that I did because I love it. Um, someone also asked, they asked what I mean when I say Elliot was a really difficult horse to work with. Um, <laughs> let me start off by saying this, last time I had a conversation with this, with my about this with my trainer. Um, Basically, the way she put it is you could look at Elliot the wrong way and it would set him off. Like, he just, he has these triggers that make absolutely no sense. And it just, he's explosive and dangerous in the sense that you never know what he's going to do. And then once he starts doing something, like, he got on a kick one time of spinning. And so whenever he got angry, he would just start spinning and he wouldn't stop until you got off. Like, there's no, like, oh, correct him, like, make him stop doing it. No, he would not stop until he either hurt you or got off. There was no in-between. And, of course, I never posted anything like that because it's embarrassing and it's not really anybody's business but my own and my trainer's. Um, so that led to a lot of, and, and, you know, he was young, so we at first treated it, treated it like a behavior issue, but that led to a lot of questions about his medical needs. Someone asked what earplugs I use. I just use the one that look the ones that look like little cat toys. Someone asked about fly spray, and I honestly don't know what to tell you here because the flies get really bad here, and there's honestly like nothing we can do about it. Um, I use these Four Horse Essentials fly spray at shows and stuff, and then the more intense stuff like Pirana and all that um, at home because the flies get really bad because there's a pond at the other side of our property. Um, but just fly protection is all you can do, dude. My favorite thing about each one of my horses, um, Foxy, is probably just his overall good soul. You really can't beat this horse or just change anything about him. He's just flawless. I love him. He's so goofy. Probably the strangest horse. He lives for food. Just precious. Um, Elliot, I don't even know where to go. Like, I love that horse to death, but, like, he's so awful. Um, probably would be his talent for the showmanship. Like, you just get him really, really angry, and he, like, does a great job. Um, Diesel would probably be his athleticism and, again, personality. He's just a giant dork, and, like, we always question his intelligence. He's so goofy. Will you ever move out of your family home or are you comfortable there with your stable and horses? I'm definitely moving out without a doubt. Um, I mean, I love it here, but like, I'm not going to live at home forever. Um, and like, if it weren't for the horses, I'd be living on campus at school. Um, but I definitely want to have my own place and have my own barn and all that one day. But right now, it's just not financially feasible for me to move out and come take care of these horses and board my own horse and all that stuff. Would you ever sell diesel or buy a project horse? Um, Buying project horses is always an interest of mine. I just have to be in the right place, right time, right financial situation, right, you know, daily situation. What's the word I'm looking for? Time? I don't know. Um, 
As far as the question of selling diesel, I'm never going to say no, I'll never consider it to that question because, you know, things happen. You have to be prepared to sell your horses. Like if you're not able to take care of them or if they're not thriving in your situation or in your environment anymore, um, you know, as a horse owner, you have to be okay with that. Um, am I going to sell them anytime soon? Absolutely not. He's the horse that I think I just closed my cat in my trailer. He's the horse that I want to take into my amateur career for sure. So he is staying right where he is. Is the world show something you'd be interested in or you're already working towards? Um, I missed my shot at the youth world show, obviously that because I've aged out. Um, but the open world, I just tripped, um, would definitely be of interest, but right now we're focusing on Congress. Who do you think moved better for the hunt seat, Elliot or diesel? Elliot has a better trot. Diesel has a better lope. So, <laughs> Um, Diesel definitely is going to be the better overall hunt seat horse, um, just because he has a stronger lope and he has more of the look for it, um, and the build for it and the athleticism for it. What does Diesel eat? He gets tribute, calm and easy. He gets a full scoop and a half. I know some people are like, oh my god, why do you use scoops as a measurement? And it's going to be really cold tonight, so I'm going to start blanketing and prepping feed and everything. Um, someone asked how long I've been riding for. I started riding Clydesdales when I was like six or seven or something, so a little over 11 or 12 years. Come here. How do you point out of an AQHA class? Um, the ones you can point out of are the rookie and the novice. Come on. Um, I don't recommend doing this with a normal horse, but Foxy's not a normal horse. Um, so the novice classes each have a certain amount of points that you need to, in order to quote point out. Um, the showmanship was like 40 something and we pointed out of that with Elliot featuring. Um, each one of them have different amounts. The rookie classes, you have to have 10 points on the horse, 10 points on the rider. So like basically, um, Elliot and I are not rookie in anything that we show in. So he's not rookie in hunt seat, equitation, or showmanship because we have over 10 points in all those events. But like Diesel is rookie in like Western riding because we don't have any points in that. Oh, and so am I, because I've never showed it. Alright, so I filmed these at the beginning of the video, so it's a little jump back in the setup here. But, for the question about what my future looks like in horses, it's kind of a really big topic. Um, I'll be 20 in February, so I'm kind of on the edge of, like, trying to figure out what I want to do as an adult. Um, of course, the absolute dream... Hey, baby. The absolute dream would be to have a training barn and, you know, have that by my, be my career and... Um, if I were to pursue that route, I absolutely would want to stay in the AQHL all-around industry. I, that's just where my heart is. Um, but life throws a lot of curveballs. I, you know, I'm in school right now and I gotta have a backup plan. Um, so I definitely want to get more experience under my belt before I wholeheartedly go that route. Of course, it's what I want to do, but I want to make sure I can do it. So, and do it effectively. So, of course, that's the dream. This next, this coming year, 2019, is my first amateur year, so I'm just gonna roll with that. Hey, baby. Um, you know, we're going to show as much as we can. My last show year wasn't as much as I'd like it to be through injury and hoof issues and everything. We didn't get to like, we didn't get to show as much as we wanted to. Ah! And of course, Diesel is still green. Um, so we're going to try to do a little bit more this year and bigger shows and all like that. But I'm going to definitely carry out my first amateur year as best as I can um, with Diesel and just kind of see where we go from there, honestly. Like I said, one of the things I have to do today is pack Diesel's foot. So here I am. Um, but another one of the in-depth questions that I got was about finances, and that's not something I personally share a lot of on my page, just because I said it's a personal thing. Uh, but I didn't want to answer it because I know it's a hot topic for everyone struggling and trying to support themselves. Um, I made, on one of my Q&A things on my Instagram a little while ago, I made a comment about how I pay for Diesel's purchase price and the truck, my new truck, and my new trailer by myself. Um, those payments are my responsibility and I take them very seriously. So on top of having a real job and going to school, um, I do manage the boarding barn at my house and that is what pretty much covers my payments on my truck and trailer and what allowed me to buy diesel for myself. Um, it is a lot, especially on top of school, but at the end of the day it is worth it and you just kind of have to figure out a good balance plan. But as far as everything else goes, you kind of, when it comes to horses, you kind of have to recognize that the purchase price is honestly the cheapest part of the horse and that's not always cheap. You have upkeep, you have, you know, their health. You can't just throw them in a pasture and say good luck. Um, 
especially if you have performance animals, you're gonna have some more vet bills, you're gonna have some more upkeep, especially if you have high performance animals, you're gonna have maintenance for their joints and all that stuff. Um, you know, high performance animals are not cheap by any mean at all. Um, but it's definitely worth the upkeep, but you know, you just gotta save up, make sure you can afford it, and if you can't afford it, maybe go lessons or leasing route. Um, but you know, just don't dive into something that you're not gonna be able to maintain because that's gonna really break your heart down the road when you have to get out of it. Another thing I've been doing which I've been finding really effective is um, evening out my bank account. And all I do with it is I just even out my bank account to a zero or a five. So basically if the, say the number is 102, I'll even it out to 100, or say it's 112, I'll either even it out to 110 and take those extra $2 or whatever it is and put it in my savings and it actually adds up really, really quickly. So you just gotta be really careful with your money, um, really cautious about it and it really does add up. What states do you show in and what states do you wanna show in? Um, I show in North Carolina and South Carolina. Let's not touch the camera, Elliot. Um, but I really wanna show, start showing like Tennessee, maybe Georgia, maybe stuff like that this year. <clears throat> if we go to Novice Championships, we'll go up to Ohio, but we tend to stay pretty local. Um, the North Carolina shows are okay count class, class count wise. They're not fantastic, but um, we'll take them <laughs> for the travel fees. I don't know if that was in focus the whole time, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for questions. I might've missed some, I don't know, but I'll probably have to do another one of these pretty soon. Um, but if I missed anything, um, keep in mind, if I didn't answer it, it was either probably a training question or a personal question that I didn't want to answer um, or anything like that. So, yeah, if you have any other questions that are not in those two categories, feel free to comment below and I will try to keep tabs and answer all that I can. But thank you guys for such an active Q&A post. That was awesome. Um, I plan on getting the hunt seat um, like information video or like what it all is about up either sometime this weekend or sometime soon. I don't know. My school schedule is a little whack. Um, but yeah, again, thank you guys for all the questions. Thank you for watching. If you watch this entire thing, you are insanely incredible and I love you. And I have a lot of plans for this YouTube channel. So I hope you stay tuned through 2019. Thank you guys. <laughs>